thought you might want to do another make with me today. So today we thought we'd make some nature paintbrushes. So all you need to have is some sticks, some string, and anything from nature that you think is going to make a bit of a pattern. So I've got some leftover parts of our Christmas tree. I've got some of our shrubs, so some of our lovely evergreens, and then I've got one of our flowers, I can't remember the name of this one, just the head of it that's dyed to see what patterns that might make as well. You could find some feathers, you might find grass, um, whatever you find lying around, have a go, attach it to the end of the stick and see how it works. So all you've got to do is choose whatever you want to attach to the end. So I'm going to use some of my Christmas tree and just snip off some bits from my branch that I've cut off. And then I'm going to use one end of my stick and I'm just going to pop it all around the end to get a nice thick part of my paintbrush there. And then I'm going to use some string. Um, I always use natural string or twine, so it can be garden string or twine, um, just because these normally then get left outside in nature, so you want it to be able to go back into nature afterwards. Wrap it around, keep wrapping to make sure it's nice and tight so it's not going to fall off. And then just do a knot. You can hear my children roaring in the background. They've already made theirs. Um, like that. And then you've got your lovely nature paintbrush. And so to go with this, I'm also going to show you how to make some mud paint today. Wrapping it round and round. That's it. Good job. Oh, so yeah. we're attaching our piece of natural material to our stick just by wrapping it round and at the end what are we going to do? We're going to tie a knot. Aww. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so we're going to make some mud paint. So we've got some mud that we've collected. Um, you'll need something to colour it with if you want to or you can just leave it as mud colour and look at the different colours of mud, that's absolutely fine. So we've got some um, food colouring that we're going to use to colour it so just different colours of food colouring and then we've got a little bit of flour to use to thicken it up afterwards and um, to make it into more of a paint like consistency so pop some of your mud into a smaller container pop it in there add a little bit of water to it give it a little stir Mm. We've got giggle pops around today. That's it. And once we've sort of stirred it all to make it not very lumpy, you're giving it a nice stir like that. Then you're going to add some of your colouring. So we're going to do, let's do a blue one for this one. So these ones are really good colours. Um, I think I just got them Amazon or something. But then put a couple of drops in. Now you can see we've got a lovely blue colour coming. A bluey green colour. And then, like I said, after that, just add a couple of spoons of flour. Mix it up again until you're happy with the consistency. And then you've got your very own mud paint. Now you don't have to add the flour, you can just do it with mud and water. You just have to make sure you don't put too much water in because you don't want it too, too runny. It's making quite a nice consistency. and we've done our paints and now I've just put an old sheet out and they can have a little go with them. What what can we make? Should we make some patterns and see what they come out like? So you just got to dip them. I'm going to use some of this one. Dip it into your paint and then have a little go. Ooh. Nice. Muddy. <laughs> some muddy paint. And obviously, depending on what you use, it will depend on what type of pattern you make. I'm so, different colours. Different colours, that's it. 
So we're going to have fun with this and have a go at home and see if you can have some fun too. I look forward to seeing your creations. <laughs>